Hello everybody and welcome to 2022. I don't know how that happened, but here we are. We are in 2022. Uh, I will point out that during the Christmas period, I have absolutely blitzed my storage. I've delisted, oh God, I don't even know, 300 more items that weren't worth keeping. Uh, so they've all been given away, donated. A few bits went in the trash that weren't even worth donating. Uh, but yeah, I've gone through, I've thinned out my books. My plush are no longer taking up these two buckets, but they are still in these two. Um, I've got an empty shelf here, pretty much. My clothing, uh, brand new clothing, is here. I've got boxes full of stuff here. My games have been obliterated. I still need to go through these and throw away whatever's trash. Uh, but yeah, this is all I have listed, if you remember... About this time last year, this whole unit here was just full of games. Uh, but I've toned it right down over the last year on games. Uh, because, to be honest, the gaming market is just so crowded now. Um, you have to be really lucky to find a decent uh, bundle of games these days. But if I find them, i obviously still interested in them. But I'm, I don't like go out looking for them anymore. The top shelf is full of stuff. Uh, this was doubled up with board games and puzzles before now i have large items up here uh this is all i have for board games left so yeah not much i thinned them right down uh this unit here in the corner is uh empty so i need to get some bins that actually fit in here properly uh, and this is empty here as well now um so yeah everything has proper thinned out uh, which is really nice. But yeah, in today's episode, I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that has sold um, a couple days before New Year and uh, on New Year's Day and the day after New Year. Because this year has been really weird with like how many bank holidays we get over Christmas and that. So I believe my last postage that I did was the day before New Year. Uh, so this will be the first one since then, um, I think. I can't really remember. I'd, I'd done so much just before the New Year that... I can't really remember when the last day was. Uh, but yeah, none of this stuff has to go out until the 5th. And it's the 3rd today. So I still technically have two days. But I'm going to get it done today anyway. Even though it's Monday and I think it's bank holiday today. But Hermes will accept the scanning in of the parcels. So I'm going to get that done today. So I can forget about it. Because I have other stuff to do like taxes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're going to start off with a jacket. This is actually sold to the United States. Um, so I've already pre-pulled this, number 110. And that has sold for £60 plus postage. Uh, I got £3.99 postage, and obviously they paid GSP, so uh, they paid a lot more for the actual postage on their end. I think it worked out like £23 they had to pay um, on top of the £3.99. So not too bad, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is a Nimbus North Harbour puffer jacket with a JBL sponsor. So JBL is like a speaker company, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, I will put some pictures on screen of the front and the back of the jacket because I believe the big logo is on the back, actually. So I will try and do that um, for you guys so you can see exactly what that is. But I was really happy with that sold uh, because there was none online. So I literally made up that price and I think I actually had it up for like 80 Um But he messaged me, obviously GSP is expensive. He asked for a discount. I said, yeah, because... At the end of the day, I don't know when the next person's going to come along that's willing to pay £60. So I took the 60 and uh, and he paid. So that's going to be going off to the United States. The next item is this Harry Potter cassette box set. I think that's what it's called. A cassette box set. Is that how, is that, how that works? Uh, yeah, Stephen Fry. Um, I believe this is the full set for this book, which is the Half-Blood Prince. Um, unabridged maybe I'm not sure anyway that sold for 22 pounds plus postage uh, actually the second time this has sold this came back to me because one of the cases was cracked the first time the lady was like oh no the case is cracked and I was like yeah sure send it back it's not a problem <laughs> so it relisted and uh, yes it's sold again which is great so hopefully fingers crossed nothing happens to it this time and they're happy with it and they keep it um, so yeah, £22 plus postage on that. Next up, we have sold a pot, which is actually up here. 
and it's very heavy, so I want to be careful that I don't drop this on my toes. Oh. Okay, so this is not Le Creuset, Le Creuset, however it's pronounced. I give up pronouncing that word. Why they come up with these silly words in France, I don't know. Uh, this is a 32 inch orange cast iron cooking pot. Uh, by the company Cuisine Royal. I think I paid £8 for this. May have been £10. Uh, but it's actually in really nice condition. It needs a clean, obviously, but it's not cracked. There's no dents, there's no chips or whatever. Um, but yeah, this brand here, Cuisine Royale. Royal? Royal? Um, I think they actually merged with um, Le Creuset or something. I can't remember the backstory. Of the company i did do some research originally when i first bought this i think they partnered or something or other i can't remember anyway that sold for 39.99 plus five pound postage it's very heavy the five pound postage probably won't cover the actual amount of postage it's going to cost probably going to be more like eight pound something and then I'll probably pay for insurance on top. Probably going to cost around £10 to post this with insurance and whatnot. Uh, but that will just come out of the £39.99. So, yeah, about £35 is sold for, um, which I'm very happy with because I think, like I said, paid eight, maybe £10 for that at a car boot sale. I actually remember the exact car boot sale that it sold at because I walked away from it originally and then turned straight back around and bought it. Um, and she was eating her breakfast, if you remember. Anyway, next up we have sold this computer. I'm just going to carefully get this down before I actually break it. Because this is going to America. And actually, funnily enough, let me put it down here so you can see. It's actually going to a prison. Um, so yeah, this is like a printer that Canon converted into like a... Uh, typewriter kind of um, word processor so you could word process and then print or whatever uh, but yeah I got a message an offer for £85 with a message saying hi uh, does this item connect to the internet because I'm buying it for my son who is in prison and I was like uh, no it does not connect to the internet uh, and then I accepted her offer and she's like oh okay perfect so she paid ridiculous amounts of gsp postage for this uh she paid me 10 pound postage um but i believe she actually paid more like 80 dollars to get that to america which is absolutely insane uh, but it is quite heavy um so yeah that one is going off gsp to america so 85 pounds plus postage on that oh and that came from my car boot so where i just make a massive pile um, so that probably cost me, I don't know, maybe £3. I had it up for 99 She offered 85 So, yeah, happy with that. Right, I believe this is a comic of some sort. Yeah. I don't know. I don't do superheroes. I don't do comics um, personally. So I have no idea what this is. But it's sold for £5 plus £3.50 postage. Like I said... I have condensed my books. If you remember, I had this, uh, had this unit, this one, and this one all full of books. Now I only have the bottom one, um, which is really nice because books suck. <laughs> when they sell, it's nice, but they hang around for so long. So, um, yeah, something I'm gonna be doing this year is uh, definitely being way more picky with the stuff that I buy, for sure. Um, so that's good. Right, next up we have sold ink. Now, if I remember correctly, I put my ink over here somewhere. I hope, because I don't actually remember. Because, like I said, I've recently cleaned this all out. Oh no, it's here. Okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Right, so this was actually delisted. When I did my clear up, I found some items that weren't listed. So this and another ink were both delisted. So I relisted it and it sold pretty much straight away. Uh, so this is a brand new HP ink sealed. And uh, that went for £20, 1999 plus postage, which is great. And I don't think any of these have uh, a discount voucher or anything going for them. So hopefully these prices are accurate. Um, 
Next up, we have sold some more toothpaste. And again, I need to remember where I put the toothpaste because I have reorganized, like I said, and I actually, actually, I think it's over here. Yes. Okay. So this is my smalls bucket for the moment. So this is literally all the smalls I have right now. Let's put that right there. Four of these. So these are for 100% natural fennel and propolis, propolis, propodopolopolopolis. I have no idea what propolis is. If anyone knows what propolis is, please let me know in the comments, but they paid 10 pounds for four of those. And uh, I got these from my contact the first time I went into the storage and I bought four different lots of toothpaste. Two were children's versions, two adult versions. And I bought 16 of each. So four sets of four of each. So four, eight, 12, 16. And I think they've all sold for 10 pounds. So 40, 80, about 160 pounds worth, give or take. And I paid 10 pounds for the lot. So pretty happy with that. Um, plus three pound 50 postage, by the way. Uh, next up, we've sold a guitar. Now I bought this just before Christmas, actually, on one of, actually, I think the last um, charity shop trip i did i didn't film it but i paid 12 pounds for this guitar it's in very good condition uh fully working uh, although it does need restringing as you can see it's missing one string there and it's not been strung very well so whoever had this last didn't know what they were doing um but yeah it needs to be restrung but other than that it's fully working uh, and in pretty decent condition it's not an expensive guitar by any means it is a entry level uh it's it's made by encore or that's the company or brand name or whatever um yeah and they go for around 80 to 100 new i believe uh maybe a little bit more but anyway uh paid 12 and it sold for 54 plus 10 pound postage so i am very happy with that right next up we have sold a penco tape dispenser now that should be in this bucket down here because this is a brand new item however it is a very small item so oh there it is i found it that's good um so yeah i had a bucket full of brand new stock that i just didn't ever photograph or list from my contact and it was just in my packing room for like eight months full up to the top and I just never got around to doing it because I kept getting good stuff in like, and I just forgot about this box. And then over Christmas when I was tidying up and doing all that good stuff, I found the box and I was like, oh, I forgot I had this here. Maybe I should actually, you know, list some of it. So I went through, I did like 90% of it. There's still a few bits over there, but this was one of the pieces that was in there. And it's literally just a metal tape dispenser tray. Doesn't have the tape with it or anything. Uh, but that's sold for 16 plus postage. Although it's not telling me what postage they paid. I hope I didn't have it on free post. I, I don't do free post. So if that's happened, then that's a issue because I, I didn't do that on purpose. So we'll have to investigate on that. Uh, but yeah, I think I charged postage. I hope I did. Um, but if I didn't, then that's an issue. Anyway, next up we have sold the Beanie Baby. I don't do Beanie Babies anymore, but... I picked this up for a pound. It was in the like case thing. So I was like, you know what? It's probably might be worth getting. But again, it really wasn't, to be honest. It sold for eight pound in the end, plus postage. So made a little bit of profit, but it sat around for a while. Again, I don't do Beanie Babies anymore. They take so long to sell and they're just, they're just, I don't know. But the case, it, it lured me in. And for a pound, I thought, you know, what? I'm going to get it. Uh, but anyway, that sold for £8 plus postage. Next up, we have sold a record, Breakfast in America, uh, Super Trump. That's over here. I actually saw this the other day. I think it's quite near the front of the pack. Um, that's not it. Do, 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 do. There it is. Let's get that out without damaging 
Here we are. There we go. So I'll put that over there for the second. So that's sold for twelve pounds plus three ninety nine postage. And next up, we have sold the second and last Casio calculator. I bought two of these in the Pound Shop charity for a pound each. Actually, I think I paid a pound for both, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I sold the other one the other day. They've been listed for absolutely ages. And uh, like eBay does, when the first one sells, the rest sell. Um, so, yeah, different customers, completely different people, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the first one sold, and then this one sold shortly after. But, yeah, £10 plus postage on that. Okay, so now we're up to what's actually sold this year. So the first item I sold in 2022 was a pair of Adidas shorts. So that should be over here because it's brand new. Oh, look. My big thick stitch Santa hat. <laughs> brand new, by the way. Um, got that from my contact. Didn't sell before Christmas. So that's definitely sticking around till next year. Or oh, I might just use it next year. I don't know. Uh, so these Adidas shorts will be in here somewhere. Um, I'm going to have to go through and find them. Uh, I'm not going to do that on camera now because that will actually take quite a while. But yeah, those sold for £15. So that was the first sale of this year. Uh, not an amazing sale by any means, uh, but £15. Pretty good way to start the year. It could have been a pound, but actually it couldn't have been because I don't have anything listed for a pound. Uh, next up, we have sold... The Simpsons. Oh, this box set, book set, box set is heavy. Second time I've had this from the exact same charity shop. Although this one is uh, sun bleached quite a bit on the top of the box. So this is a episode guide for seasons one to 20. And both times I've bought this for five pounds in there. And both times it's sold for 35 pounds, I believe. This time it's going off to... A different country um i can't remember what country it was um russia i think yeah i think it's russia uh they paid me six pound for postage which to be honest i probably undercharged uh but they paid a load for gsp as well but yeah five into 35 plus postage uh i'm happy with that this is the second time i bought this and it's the second time it's sold pretty quickly so if you see this out in the wild um and it's in mediocre to decent condition, uh, do pick it up because it seems to have a following and people seem to want to buy it. So that is really good. Right, next up we have sold another Willow Tree ornament, which is now stored right here. And we have sold, this is all I have left. All I have left out of like 30 that I had. Uh, wisdom, we have sold Wisdom. And I think, I think this little, oh, the hair, that's gross. I think this is Wisdom. There we go. So this little girl sat on the log reading a book is Wisdom. And she sold for $9.99 plus postage. Right, last but not least, we have two Dyson batteries, which again, I got these from auction ages ago and they just sat in a bucket unlisted. And I went through them all the other day and I listed all of the Dyson stuff I had, uh, all the spare parts, and two have sold already. So this here is a DC-58 used battery. Um, it's not in, like, mint condition by any means. Uh, but I got £15 plus postage on that one. And the last item is another battery here. This is a V8 SV10 battery. I believe this also works in DC-58, DC-59, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this one went for 20 plus postage and these were literally listed like two days ago, not even a day and a half, something like that. And two have sold already. So yeah, so this is all the stuff that has sold so far, uh, a couple bits after new year and the rest was just before new year. Um, so yeah, that's how my year has started. We're going to be starting with our first packing of the year and uh, gonna hopefully get that dropped off to Hermes today so yeah thank you so much for watching everybody if you enjoyed today's video please do leave a like subscribe I know there's been a big gap in uploads on the channel 
over the Christmas period, December basically, I did like one video or something. Um, but yeah, I just had a break. I thought, why not take it during the natural holiday break where everyone else is kind of on break as well. I thought, you know, I'm going to take it. I'm still working, but I'm going to have a break from uh, YouTube and stuff. But I am back. And uh, yeah, hopefully you are too. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.